Oh, it's Wednesday. What a beautiful day. Already. <laughs> uh, so, the day started today at 2.22 a.m. it started. That's when the day started today for me. 2.22? Yes, 2.22 a.m. I've been up. Even though I took a long fashion now. <laughs> uh, but yes, I've been up since 2.30 a.m. Where I did the push-ups, the yoga, the meditation, the reading, and the whole nine yards, I did everything. I uh, have been, I've included a lot of uh, calisthenics into my yoga practice. Absolutely amazing. Absolutely amazing. The whole calisthenics stopping every couple of miles to do push-ups and get into a yoga pose. <laughs> it has just been amazing to me what the body can actually do and the breathing technique that actually goes into holding the pose takes quite a few years to actually understand you have to be able to breathe through your nose only even when you can only feel the air coming out of just one of your nose because the more you stretch your spine, the more amazed you will be at how it's been sleeping. So what the push-up does on the yoga mat, it really allows you to stretch your body. Because when you do push-ups and you get tired, you get into a yoga pose, you stretch your body, it's absolutely amazing because you're doing it very slow and you're twisting your body, really twisting the body. <laughs> and I mean really twisting the body. So what that does, it takes away all the soreness and it also teaches you how to run properly. A lot of us are running from is actually out of line we know we don't know how to move with gravity even when we're walking so <laughs> that being said is everything is gentle the way gravity pull out pull us up pull us out of our mother's womb was very gentle the way it just pushed and shift that's why i always talk about childbearing because when you watch a baby being born and how gravity pulls it out of his mother's womb that's exactly how we need to be leaving that's exactly how we need to learn how to meditate that is exactly how we need to stretch our bodies <laughs> that is just so exactly how the body is designed and i think a lot of this thing sometimes takes years of practice and sometimes it comes out of desperation and that desperation is you have some trauma to the body and you are determined to heal it and it made me look at yoga differently because when you begin to do calisthenics yoga on your yoga mat then get into the stretching you are able to truly breathe in through your noses. Most people that take yoga do not even know how to breathe. And the only way to understand the breathing techniques of yoga, you have to, you have, to have your own practice every single day. There's nothing wrong with going to a class, but every morning you have to get up and practice. You got to have your own practice every single morning. 
<laughs> to understand the techniques of breathing properly. And I'm saying that because the more you practice by yourself, your subconscious mind, your higher elevation, your brain, that is the most powerful thing on this planet, your body will begin to speak to you. The word teacher sometimes can mean giving your own power to somebody. It can mean letting people dictate what you are capable of and what you can actually learn. The whole essence of meditation is um, you could start with a guide with a guiding meditation but you have to have your own practice or, and that practice comes from me talking about you got you have to get up very early in the morning <laughs> and just have your own practice or else it's just of no use you got to get up in the morning you got to have your own practice or as you will never ever get the understanding of yoga and breathing and all those techniques. <laughs> so <laughs> the authentic side of yoga is extremely different from the modern day classes that we take right now. Because um, our modern day yogas, many of it do not allow us to do the push-ups. And the push-ups on the yoga mat is what really actually builds your chi. That's what really opens up your spine. The push-ups is what actually makes your spine become softer. Because the softer the spine is, the less stressed you are, the more flexible you are. <laughs> so, <laughs> these things can sound really ridiculous sometimes. Because, uh, <laughs> Yoga is what I call a sacred. When you begin to practice on a sacred level where you have your own practice, you do not go a day without stretching. The morning time, like any other tradition, the very early hours of the morning, between three o'clock and four and six a.m., <laughs> it is the time for your practice. <laughs> it is just so amazing because that's how you begin to speak to your conscious mind and that's how you begin to become you be you be you start to live in abundance there is two type of uh, riches abundance there's the one that we gain materialistically which is very very comfortable because we need it to sustain then there's also the other one which is the mental the spiritual and that one requires a lot of hard work, extreme discipline, extreme discipline. <laughs> there are just some things you just cannot put in your body once you begin to do that. There is just, uh, how do I explain this? Discipline, everything has to be in balance. That's when I, oh, there's a saying that I always say, everything is good for me. All the drugs on the planet, it doesn't matter how it is, it's good for me. Everything that nature made is good for me. But in moderation. So what I focus on, anything that I cannot do in moderation, I don't waste my time with it. So the problem that we are having, it is in the food, because we blame the food so much. No, it's just moderation and that's what yoga teaches the balance if you cannot do anything in moderation you can forget about all this trying to talk spirituality I have to admit one thing we are very very great speaker when it comes to it it's funny these days how I watch people talk about my lifestyle <laughs> and they're pretty good too <laughs> Yeah, because what I did over the years, I literally studied all these great monks. I did. Read like them. 
I just wanted to live that disciplined life. I was very, very loose once upon a time. I had no directions. So, and I lived that delusion alive to his best. <laughs> I was just, uh, <laughs> what I call, <laughs> brainwashed. Uh, <laughs> very loose. <laughs> you know, I enjoyed it. <laughs> but it's, I also come to a state where I realize I could also change that thinking. Uh, and once I begin to realize that, uh, good morning. How you doing? Have a good day. <laughs> and once I begin to realize that, that I can change my thinking, and I begin to change it. I really change the way I look at life. Uh, really changed the way of the things that I put in my body. I really reprogrammed my mind from all the, I won't call it wrong information, but because of what I was, the environment that I was raised around, they taught me what they think is right. And I think after a certain, time, a certain period of life, we have the choice to say to ourselves, okay, I love my family, but I need to have my own senses. I have to find myself and understand myself. And uh, I was able to get out of that fear and I began to think the way I want to think with the goal of <laughs> making sure nobody gets hurt. So that was my goal. Everything that I do has to be conscious. As long as anyone is not, it doesn't affect anybody or disturb anyone's thinking, I begin to practice it. And it has taken me a long way. And that's how I even begin to study women. I always say I was blown away when I saw my child being born. How a woman can just take in a seed and nine months later that thing turned into a full human being. It was just one of those things that I had to witness. And once I witnessed that, I realized what I can do with my senses and how I had the ability to get rid of whatever addict, addiction that I picked up and whatever bad energy, I won't call it bad energy, wherever anything that I picked up once upon a time that is not good for my soul, I begin to change it. And over the years, I built a new habit and this is the habit and one of those habits actually was this was the reason why i decided that i'm gonna run 100 miles one day after seeing this my son being born and when i did that i realized how much of the limitation that i've put on myself for more these years many years ago i was all about blaming everybody <laughs> for my situation, then the moment I captured the whole truth and I realized that every situation that I'm in up to the present was created by me, I blame nobody but self. And once you start blaming yourself and getting angry or getting mad about the past, the present becomes joy and your past also becomes joy and laughter <laughs> so yes on this beautiful morning as i'm going i don't like running and holding the camera you see i'm just leaning forward <laughs> uh happy wednesday that's the thing that i was thinking of now so yes i'm actually going to my destination <laughs> this morning and uh well love